G'day everyone, welcome to the second match day vlog here at Leaderville Oval here with Bray again for number two. How are you mate? Yeah, good to be here Rocky. It's a lovely day out here at Leaderville. It is, of course we've got four of our previous guests playing for Subi and a few to keep an eye on for South. So it uh, be good to see them go to work. Noah Tonkin will be making his uh, vlog debut a bit later on with a, a late appearance. But um, yeah, it's uh, beautiful conditions down here. Better than the last time we did the vlog. Um, yeah, down to Perth, line. Exactly. Day that was. Predictions, who to be in this one? Uh, Subi by four goals. I was actually thinking about it before. I'm, I'm going to say Subi by, to nail it on the head, I'm going to say Subi by 26 points. Yeah, so, yes, we're going to do some uh, score updates, plenty of uh, action, and then the uh, interview, see if we can get in the room. So, uh, see how it goes. Subi Dooby. Yeah, we got we got Marsh. Oh, we don't, we don't have Marsh. We have Lidland, we have Kitchen, we have Horsley, and we have the 2019 Santa of Emma's Delahunty right here in front of us. Yeah. We're going to have some sh shots at goal. Yeah. Massive. I'm going to take a mark. I'm putting my knee in the back of someone's head. <laughs> these kids' heads. I do not care. I'm getting on Channel 7. Alrighty, alrighty. Got a set shot here. Get up, Ethan, get up. Oh, lovely! <laughs> Doesn't mind it. Just the chest mark. Doesn't mind it. Stuff. Does not mind it. Quarter time, 3 one, 19, one four, 10. Look at this boy at full back. Gussie. Yep. A few Hawthorne. There was a few Hawthorne <laughs> supporters here. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, from his days, from about four years ago, with, uh, making the long distance here. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> the naked man Harry Marsh is walking, running around. Yeah, he's the, uh, running around over there in the facilities. <laughs> Just taking over the boundary there, dude. Look at these traditional supporters right here. Yeah, loving the flag waving. Just shows that the waffle's not dying yet. <laughs> sure is. Half time, Ethan. Yeah. Uh, 4 3 27, 3 5 23. Good game. Yeah. As, South, come back. As much as the game has been on my mind and I've been watching it, it's been so funny. The uh, We haven't been, be able, been, we haven't been able to film it, but the South Fremantle Faithful has been absolutely giving it to our OG guest, Lidland, and he's mm -hmm. been uh, back chatting and uh, gave him the finger at one point. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. We'll see who gets the last laugh. But. Yeah, exactly. And it's, the forward line of uh, South has actually been pretty impressive in that last, or that second quarter. Yeah, they are. They're presenting card, making a contest for the small forwards, and um, no signs of the 2019 Grand Final getting, yeah, into, the, know, getting yeah. into the brain of the uh, Bulldogs. So, yeah, big second half coming up. Yep, yeah, can't wait. Rates his chances again here, Ethan. Comes in. Is on the way. Roffy, get under it. What are you doing, Roffy? Wait. Alright. We've just had a special guest rock up. Noah Tonka. His debut. Yeah, debut. Hey, hey, with, like with a burrito. With a burrito. From feeling? Guzman Y Gomez. Yeah. First bite. Good You're better than the other. You know, you're better than the other boys who haven't rocked up. Now the ball's just down here. See it then. Oh, I'm pushing the back. Cannot see it then. We'll catch you at three quarter time. All right, we're just down here with uh, Nick Subin. Must be a great win. Confidence beating a team like Subiaco, who've uh, been a powerhouse of the competition for, so, for such a long time. Yeah, it was a good win. I think the boys, it's a pretty, pretty tight contest for three quarters, really. Um, and there we just grinded in the last quarter and um, kind of broke the game open. But um, no, we know they had a few out. And um, yeah, it's only early in the season. So um, good win, uh, good confidence boost for the boys. But um, obviously, you know, we'll probably see them later in the year. And you've been playing a bit down back, so where do you like to play and what's the percentage of midfield to, to back line at this stage? 
Yeah, probably been more midfield this year. Um, but yeah, a bit versatile. So back for uh, don't go forward. Back in back in mid. Um, so just whatever the team needs, mate. But um, yeah, mainly mid this year. And plenty of good performances today. Who do you think got your three, two, and one? If you had to uh, do the voting. Good question. I I struggle to find who plays well um, straight after the game. But I think I think Jakey Florenka has been going well for us uh, earlier in the year. So I'd say he was pretty good. Um, Oregon Sloithy after half time found some good form as well. And um, Probably Jimmy Miller, our, uh, our key forward slash ruckman, has been going pretty well as well. So I thought he was pretty good today as well. So it doesn't answer your question, but um, I think those three yeah. have been pretty good nah, for us. Fair enough. But um, you're best in the Swans next week, so uh, looking forward to that challenge. Um, yeah. Yeah, it must yeah be. look, I don't know how they went today, but they've definitely been in all their games. So, um, yeah, it'd be another good challenge and, um, yeah, something we'll be looking forward to. And you're heading back to the club now, or...? No, nah, uh, we're just doing recovery here okay. and then we'll have a meeting and, and off home. So, yeah. Yeah, well, good luck for the rest of the year. Cheers for joining us. Cheers. Cheers. Brandon Donaldson, he kicked two goals today. Must be nice coming back from that hamstring. Yeah, it was good. Um, it's always good to beat Subi and then, yeah, to, to kick two goals and be able to contribute personally as well is always good. Um, yeah, hamstring felt great and I also had a little quad niggle, so um, got over the line, which is good. Yeah, and you've pulled up nicely or is it sore? or? No, nah, perfect. Yeah, pulled yeah. up really well. So, um, yeah, now it's just recovery and then look towards next week. Yeah, and we've, we're going to ask everyone this, but who got your three, two and one if you had to vote today? <laughs> That's hard. It's hard because everyone contributed really well. Um, I thought our leaders were really good. So, you know, Kate Short in the middle there, I thought he was he was pretty impressive. Zach Strom, I'd probably get in the votes as well. I think he had, you know, 20 odd touches and he had 17 contested as a wingman and a ruckman. So he was pretty impressive. Um, and then I think, you know, just I think our forwards all as a group contributed really well. So I was pretty happy with them. Yeah, well, there you have it. Cheers for joining us. Cool. Yeah, Danny with Ben Rioli, um, well played today, got the win, but uh, you really must be loving your time here. It's your first year at the club, so how have you settled in? Yeah, no, it's been really good. I mean, I was getting really settled in and then COVID hit and um, you know, there's sort of an uncertainty about what was going on with the season, but um, yeah, to actually be playing footy now and, and four games in is, is brilliant, really, and to be 4-0 and is... It's really good. Yeah, so speaking of COVID, what did you get up to? It must have been a, a bit boring. Oh, it was very boring. Lucky my girlfriend got down here the week it got cancelled from Darwin, so she got here and we just got a place together, but we couldn't do much. Mm. But I don't really mind that, you know, I can sit at home and be yeah. fine, but the girlfriend was pretty bored, so um, it was yeah. good for me. And I was still working, which was okay, but yeah, she came in, it was pretty tough, but I, I enjoyed just chilling yeah. out and playing the Xbox. Yeah, so you're carrying the famous Rioli now, but you're playing down back. Most Riolis we see play forward, um, so how are you enjoying that? And do you think you'll continue to play there? Yeah, I'd say so. That's where I'm most comfortable. And, you know, to tell you the truth, wherever they need me to play, I'll play if they want to move me up the ground or whatever. But to tell you the truth, I just want to be in the starting 22 every week. So if I can keep doing that, then I think I'm doing OK. Yeah, and not many people wear the hell or you wear that. Is it just a safety thing or passing toughness? Yeah, I've had a few concussions, but that was a lot when I was younger. Like when I made my league debut as a 17-year-old up in Darwin, I just sort of had the, had the headgear on and they just had sort of run with it ever since. And... Yeah, I'd feel a bit weird playing without one to take it through. So yeah, yeah, and there was many uh, good contributors today. We've asked the other boys who they're three, two, and one. They found it hard to say, but who would you say for best uh, on ground? Um, Shaky Ferenka's had an un- unbelievable yeah. start to his season. Um, Zach Strom has Zach Strom has been yeah, you know, you throw him on the wing, throw him in the ruck today. He's yeah, so probably those two. I don't know what order. They can both have two and a half yeah. each, I think. Um, and then the one, yeah, I don't know. The boys, it was a really good team effort today. Yeah. So it is really, really hard. Noah Strong probably, you know, yeah. had the job on Benny Sokol, who, who's a very dangerous forward, and, and I thought he did a pretty good job. So, yeah. Yeah, it was very even spread, but we'll let you go. Cheers for joining us. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. That's a wrap, guys, here from Leaderville Oval. Hope you enjoyed the match day, vid number two. Noah? Bob. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, was, it was a good video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, so we'll be doing those every two weeks at different Waffle Grounds and then hopefully the Waffle Grand Final on at, at Optus, which will be really exciting. But um, stay tuned. There's going to be a podcast guest announcement on Monday. A massive guest, so stay tuned for that one. And, um, of course, socials, at Sound Square Podcast, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, even YouTube. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, stay tuned. Thanks See guys. you guys. Appreciate all the support.